A Chicago police officer has been relieved of his powers after an off-duty incident where his pit bull attacked an eight-pound Pomeranian. The department itself said in a statement that it expects its officers on duty or off duty to uh, act with the highest standards and this will not go unaddressed. Well, for one thing, we're demanding that this city take as seriously the killing of a black woman as they take the killing of a white lap dog. What are you telling us in 2012 with somebody that looks like me in the White House that somebody, five white officers, can come in your home and kill a child with a disability and people are not mad about that? We want justice for Stephon Watts and all of the families that stand in behind me today. What do we have to do for justice? He was a Burlington Northern Santa Fe Railroad policeman himself. He was authorized to have his weapon with him. They took it from him. And when they took it, they began to shoot him 21 times in the back parts of his body and seven times in the front parts of his body. So because he was the victim and the perpetrators go free, Mr. Morgan should not have been sentenced to 40 years. We demand that he's acquitted and demand that he is to be set free by the grace and mercy of God. And if you all cannot take the responsibility, the gift that has been given to you to keep this information of these families out here that are striving to demand justice for their family, like they said, there is no way that we should have had to go seven long years with a free Howard Morgan campaign. It's not just on us. States of America, right? But yet, and still, we feel so divided. My sister would never be able to spend a holiday with her family again. Yes. Why this officer is still loose? Probably barbecuing, mowing his lawn, going over family members' houses, chilling. My sister won't never be able to do that. He destroyed our family, and he yes. destroyed me also. Um, I'm at the point where I didn't teach my children to hate anyone. Hate was not allowed in my household. But me standing here right now thinking about my daughter, I hate the man that murdered my daughter. I hate him, you know. He's walking around free as a bird, getting a paycheck. He should be stripped of all his powers. Immediately. Not just working light duty. Light duty is not doing anything. Oh, oh, yeah, you shot a couple of people. You know, we just gonna, uh, uh, you just sit down and chill and relax. Huh, go make some coffee. Just like anyone else, the average citizen, if they would have shot his sister, they would have been arrested, they would have been fingerprinted, and there would have been an investigation afterwards to determine if they are innocent. And the same thing should happen with the police officer. I mean, he was off duty, but who shoots into a crowd? What are your standard operating procedures when you are on and off duty? Have you been following them? I don't think so. And they should be held accountable for what they do. They're giving everyone a bad name. I'd like to say something about the Howard Morgan case also, in particular to Judge Clayton Crane, who, will we, who we will be before again on May 2nd, which is next week. You know, if Howard Morgan is innocent, and he is, that means four to five Chicago police officers are guilty, and they are. And the cover-up that's being taken place is ridiculous. I mean, Judge Crane, for those of us who don't know it, back in 2002, let five sheriffs walk free that in a drunken stupor chased a black couple, shot out their black, shot out their back, back window, and they walked free, and they were 100% guilty and drunk, and they still had their jobs, and then you do this to Howard Morgan, you don't need to, please. I, I could never put honorable in front of your name. I just want to put out a challenge. I challenge all of the communities to stand up and get together. Come out and show support. 
not only for Rakia Boyd, not only for Howard Morgan, not only for Stephon Watts, but for anybody out there who's been shot, murdered, killed, disrespected by the police, or anybody in their neighborhood. I challenge y'all to come out and come together and join this fight. It's just beginning. Thank you.